What's going on, chosen elect? Good morning, evening, afternoon. You know, whatever it is out there where you at, y'all prayers have been answered. Oh, it's on the day. Y'all prayers have been answered. We about to bury these Mosaic Law Hebrew Israelites today with this video. We gonna bury them. This is their funeral video. <laughs> Y'all prayers have been asked. What's going on, Super Duper? Hope y'all having a great one. Put on your Holy Spirit. Get your pens and pencils ready for this when you want to take notes on this. No man going to be able to stand before you after this video. When you get this, when you get this steak dinner here, like the angels told Elijah, rise up and eat, for your journey is long. Elijah ate that meat. He went, he went 40 days off that meat. <laughs> this meat right here is going to take you, man. It's going to take you to the promised land. Of course, you got to be obedient and walk in the spirit, you know. You got to be adopted by the Holy Ghost. Without further ado, let's get with it, y'all. That's enough of our theme song. Yeah, let's get with it. Let's get with it. Oh, yeah. Where we want to start today? Let's go to uh, Second Kings, man. Second Kings... 13 23 second kings 13 and verse 23 like i said y'all gonna want to write this down no man gonna be able to stand before y'all after this video no more mosaic law hebrew is like talking that smack we got them now we got them y'all uh second kings 13:23 And the Lord was gracious unto them and had compassion on them and had respect unto them because of his covenant. Y'all might want to highlight that. He had respect because of his covenant. Yeah, hold that. Don't let that go. You know we got to revisit that. His covenant with Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and would not destroy them, neither cast he uh, them from his presence as yet. And this is when Jesus, was, even when Jesus was walking the earth, that earthly Jerusalem, he didn't cast them, you know, at that time they wouldn't cast out of his presence because they were still in Jerusalem. Jesus had to be born. Jesus is that new covenant. Why not? Uh, keep up with me now. Fasten your seatbelt. Just keep up. Jesus, that man, is the new covenant. Okay? So, he had not cast us out of his presence yet because Jesus had to be born there because Jerusalem is the house of sacrifice. Okay? Jerusalem is the house of sacrifice. Jesus had to be sacrificed there. Uh, let's get that. Let's go to uh, Chronicles. Second Chronicles. 7 and verse 12. Just to show you that. 2 Chronicles 7 verse 12. Okay. And the Lord appeared unto Solomon by night and said to him, I have heard thy prayer and have chosen this place. Talking about Jerusalem. Remember, his name is, is on Jerusalem. I have chosen this place to myself for a house of sacrifice. Okay, for a house of sacrifice, if I sh shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among the people. Verse 14, this is, y'all know this one, this is a famous one. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, right? Seek my face, I like that. You know, and turn from their wicked ways. 
Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Right? Now, this is, he's talking about new covenant with this. With verse 14, that's new covenant. Right? Now, verse 12, that house of sacrifice, we already know. Jesus Christ had to be born there. That's your Luke 2.11. You know, I'm t I got to teach to be thorough. I got to teach to be thorough. You know, I want y'all to have good understanding. So that's what I'm doing now. But the meat's coming. All this is meat. But uh, what you ready? What you waiting on that dessert and all that? That's coming. Y'all want that full meal deal? But let me prepare this meal the right way. Luke two eleven. For unto you is born in the city of David a savior, which is Christ the Lord. Right? That's that's the meat and dessert. The full course dinner right there. That's what we was waiting on, you know, even when uh, we were still in Jerusalem. We was always waiting on this, right? The proof is right here in this same chapter, 211. For unto us, for unto you, that's that. This right here is uh, Isaiah 9, 6. Okay, let's, let's prove it. Let's get Isaiah 9, 6. Y'all know that one seems to turn up every video, whether it's myself or the mighty great lion. Uh, like what he says, I agree with you, mighty great land. This that's the heart of the Bible, right there. Isaiah nine, we just read it in Luke two. See how it ties in the prophecy. Them really, them Hebrew Israelites is we already done had them, mighty great land. But uh, this gonna nail the put the nails in the coffin right here. And uh, Isaiah nine six. You know, we thoroughly teaching. We got to do that. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government should be upon his shoulder. That's your Luke 2.11. Right here, what I'm reading, y'all. Government should be upon his shoulder. His name should be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government... And peace, there should be no end, right, to our kingdom. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it. That's what he did. He came into the earth to establish it. Now it's a spiritual kingdom. Right? It's spiritual now. Mosaic law was carnal. Now it's spiritual. To, to establish it with judgment, right? He brought judgment to the city, the house of sacrifice, right? And with justice, he sits on the throne as the king of justice and judgment, right? Henceforth, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this, right? The Lord sent his word into Jacob, 12 tribes, y'all, and it had lighted upon Israel. Yeah, right? We got that. Let's get back to Luke 2.11. Really, that's the end of the video right there. You know, really it is, but let's overdo it. Let's go ahead and overdo it, ain't that right? Let's bury these dudes, y'all, once and forever. Uh, for unto you is born this day in the city of David. That's Zion, y'all. City of David is Zion. Y'all know that? Just in case somebody didn't know that. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it all today. Is that all right? Let's get it all. Let's bury these two. Take y'all notes. Because y'all going to be mighty when y'all hit these streets, hedges, and highways. And you know that's what you got to do. You take these scriptures in your heart. Uh, write them down on pen. I did that too. When I first started. I had, to, I had to write scriptures down and take them with me. I was peeking on a little list. You know, you got to start out, you know, because you want these words in your heart and all that. So you want to get to the point where you don't need the paper. But, hey, you got to start out somewhere. Get you some cheat sheets, you know. Uh, I talked myself out. Where was I going, yeah? For Lord, uh, you was born this day in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. 
Where was I going with that? Oh, it'll come back to me. So since I'm still in Luke 2, 11. I forgot where I was going with that. But let's scroll on down. It's all good. It'll come back. Uh, great line. I be laughing. You be talking about them scriptures be leaving. You show it right, bro. That's what just happened to me. They flash, man. These They lightning flash fast. Let's go down to verse 25. This is what we always was waiting on. The whole city, man. We was waiting on Isaiah 9, 6 through 8. Right? That's what we was waiting on. Oh, we about to prove it. Let's go to verse 25. Verse 25. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem. See that? He ain't cast us out of his sight yet. Right? That's because Jesus had to be born. Once Jesus was born, y'all can see where I'm going. That's when we got carried there in, in 70 AD. After he back, had done his work here and then ascended back up, then we got cast out out of his sight. And behold, so what I'm saying is the fringes was old covenant. That's old. That's old. Don't don't get ahead of me. I got we we got some more seasonings to put on that. I know. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was a just man, devout, waiting. Here it is. I like this, y'all. Waiting for the consolation of Israel. We were waiting on Isaiah 9, 6. And the Holy Ghost was upon him. Right? And it was revealed to him. See, you got to have the Holy Ghost. To be born of the heavenly kingdom. You got to have the Holy Ghost. Right. Uh, and it was revealed to him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. That's your Isaiah 9, 6 through 8. You know. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law... See that? Jesus is the last priest. High priest. Because he's a high priest. Jesus. I'm talking about this baby. Then took he up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let us thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation. Boom. And we see Jesus Christ is the salvation. Then the mighty great land always shows y'all and proves it up to us that the salvation is God. You know, God is our salvation. So he said, my eyes have seen thy salvation. We should all understand now God is the salvation. Right? Uh, what is that? Uh, that's many places. We're going to come back there. Let's get God is the salvation. Just in case we got a, a couple visitors. I ain't never seen it here. God is our salvation. Which one we going to get? Let's get uh, Let's get it in 2 Samuel. 2 Samuel. We go to that one. 2 Samuel 22. And uh, we start with verse 2. 2 Samuel 22. Two, and he said, the Lord is my rock. And my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, the God of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield, and the horn of my salvation. Right? Right? That's my praise. My high tower, and my refuge, and my savior. See, Jesus Christ is all of these, all these titles. Thou savest me from violence. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. See that? And uh, we got some more. We got some more. In case we got some gang sayers and stuff. Let's let's get some more. Let's throw some more seasoning on it. Isaiah 62. Yeah, that's it. We go to Isaiah Psalm 62. We can go to Isaiah 62 too. You know, it's all good. We go in. I let you name the book. I let you name the book. Hebrew is like under Mosaic law, and we'll get you. 
Let's start with verse 1. Isaiah, Psalm 62, 1. Truly my soul waited from God, upon God. From him cometh my salvation. Huh? He only is my rock. And look, my salvation. Right? Mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. There it is right there. He is my defense. I shall not uh, be greatly moved. Okay, back to Luke 11. 2.11. Luke. Luke 2. Where we leave off. I think we strolled down, didn't we? Yep. So we see that God uh, will be born here in uh, Luke. And we stopped at uh, about verse... Let's get it. Let's get that. Uh, we got some meat in this video. Uh, what, verse 23? Did we stop? Let's, let's get that. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy unto the Lord. This goes into the new covenant. Since the Lord is being born here in Luke 2, he's bringing a new covenant. See, we couldn't go into the, the matrix, into the heaven. Remember, that veil was there for you and me because we were born of the flesh. Christ is born of the Holy Ghost. Right? Okay. And to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves and two young pigeons. Okay, if you... Uh, uh, let's keep going. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simon. We already read this. Devout man waiting for the cow. Okay. It's all good. Scroll on down. From my eyes have seen thy salvation. Yeah, that's where we left off. So we see God. He's seen God, which was called to Christ. The manifestation. This is that was first Timothy 3.16. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels. Preached on to the world, received up in the glory, right there. Jesus Christ, salvation, man. <laughs> Which thou hast prepared before the face of thy people, a light to lighten the Gentiles. This is that light in verse 8, right? He sent his word into Jacob and then lighted upon Israel. A light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Jesus Christ is that glory. That's him right there. That's the manifestation of that prophecy. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. Verse 34. And Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary, his mother, Behold, this child, here it is, y'all. Check out this verse. You want all you might want to highlight this verse. Right? This go chew up all the heathens. Also, and Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary, his mother, Behold, this child, Jesus Christ, the Lord, is set for the fall and the rising again of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. See that? This child born unto us, a child born unto us, a son is given, is for the Israelites, for the set, for the fall. And that's the falling away. And the rising again. That's the resurrection of Jesus Christ. For many in Israel, for a sign, being born of a virgin and all that, shall be spoken again. Right? Now, let's go to, uh, here it is, y'all. Drum roll for this one. Drum roll for this one. Uh, Second Kings. Second Kings. Let's get that drum roll. Uh, yeah. Second Kings. Let's go on to Second Kings and get this one. And uh, yeah, Second Kings, twenty-three. Y'all ready? And twenty-seven. The fall and rise. Remember, we just read that. Cause Jerusalem had to fall away. That great falling away, I'm talking about when we get exiled. See, what I'm saying is back then, even when Jesus was there, you could wear fringes. They was under that first covenant. They were still there until Jesus had to fulfill it, see. 
And then he shut the door on that first covenant. We not there no more. Right? After he fulfilled by what? Becoming a sacrifice. And then this happened. And then this happened. So everybody wearing fringes under Mosaic Law. Here's your nails in your coffin. And, and the Lord said, I will remove Judah also out of my sight, as I have removed Israel. And I will cast off this city, Jerusalem, which I have chosen, and the house which I said my name shall be there. Alright, so that's the earth, that's the flesh. Right there, he cut us off. Completely out of his sight. That's flesh. Right? And he kept telling us, watch this. Oh, we got more. We got more, we got more nails. We're going to drill them where they can't come back up. They can't come back. They're going to run now. They're going to burn in fringes out of this video. They're going to burn that stuff. Jeremiah 6. See, here's what they don't recognize. Here's, right here. here's what kills them. I mean, all these verses kill them. But here's what. We're going to make it make sense, y'all. Jeremiah 6, verse 8. Watch it. Be thou instructed, O Jerusalem, lest my soul depart from thee, lest I make thee a desolate land, not inhabited. And this is what he did, right? He cut off Jerusalem. Let's read it again. His soul left. His spirit, man. His spirit left earthly Jerusalem, man. Jerusalem is now shallow. It's shallow. Right? No glory. It's Ichabod, man. It's Ichabod. First Samuel chapter 4. No glory. The earthly Jerusalem is... That's your... Oh, man. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. I'm still excited, y'all. That's all. I need to calm down. Be thou instructed, O Jerusalem. Least my soul. Did y'all have it like that? Right there, soul. That's who Jesus is. Jesus is God's soul. I'm prove it. I'm prove we gonna prove it is that's his soul. That's all God's heart and all God's soul in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, let me throw one more word on there. Bragroom. Bragroom. Oh, we gonna get there. Least my soul depart from thee. At least I make thee desolate. He did. Because he, he abandoned it. Right? He abandoned it. He said it with his own mouth. We're going to get that too. Uh, uh, abandon thee. Uh, I make thee desolate. And a land not inhabited. That's what it is now. Right? And no, nope, yeah, y'all can't argue that. Right? We got exile. That's why you here in America. The proof to this verse... Right there, you here in America? That's the proof, right? And and the heathens are over there in that land where we once was. That's the proof, right? Well, let's get it where Jesus said it from His own mouth too. Matthew twenty three. Jesus just said the same thing. Matthew twenty three and uh thirty seven. Words in red. Jesus just said the same thing. Oh, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. That's a city. That's where he was born. Now he's great become the sacrifice. Right? He's going to the cross. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent to thee, unto thee. Even Jesus was sent to Jerusalem. How often, here it is, would I have gathered thy children together? Even as a hen gather her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. I'm about to bounce. That's what he's saying. Now I'm about to bounce. Right? I'm about to do a new thing, create a new thing in this wilderness. A heavenly kingdom now. Y'all wanted me to be king in the flesh. But my father had other plans. We's a heavenly kingdom. 
For I say, that's a new covenant. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till you say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, the name of the Father. Do you say this? Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Father. That's your match. John 5, 43. I come in my Father's name. All right, that show take you right back to Isaiah 9, 6 through 8. Do you say, I'm? do you see that this man is God? Are oh, we going to get there too? This, oh, man. I got so many scriptures. It ain't fun. So I just got to take my time. I'm just trying to set it up here. Uh, till you say, blessed, and that's you mosaic dudes, y'all can't get back. Till you say, blessed, he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Till you say, blessed is the name of Jesus Christ. That's what he's telling you. Till you say, blessed is the name of Jesus Christ. He come in the Father's name. You can't get back till you say that. John, what was this? 543? Is that what it was? John 543? Well, let's go there. Yeah. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. Right? There it is. I am come in my Father's name. Right? That's the new name. He brought the new name. Because it's a new heaven and a new earth and a new city. I am come in my Father's name. But he's talking about the new name. That's your uh, revelations. Y'all know that. 312. Let me get it for the new newbies. For the newbies here. Him that overcome Revelation 3 12, yeah, him that overcometh will I make a pillar. Oh, we're gonna get let's hit on that too. In the temple of God. You gotta become a pillar. Uh Israelites, saints. You gotta become saints. That's what makes you a pillar, being being a saint. An overcomer too, right here. He that overcometh. You gotta overcome the flesh, the world, sin, Satan. All these lies, false doctrines, old covenant, all of that. You got to overcome Every, everything that's dark, demonic, that's not of the truth. You got to overcome it. Him that overcome it, right? And that's you giving God all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength, right? And, being, you know, being filled with the Holy Ghost. You can't give him all your heart, mind, body, soul, strength without the Holy Ghost, right? All right? Uh, him that overcome where I make a pillar. That's, yeah. Uh, you a monument. A monument, man. In the temple of God. And shall go no more out. But I will write upon him my, the name of my God. Here it is. And the name of the city of my God. Which is New Jerusalem. See, this is New Jerusalem. Jesus Christ brought this. The New Jerusalem. Which cometh down out of heaven from my God, which I write upon him, and I will excuse me, I will and I will write upon him my new name. That's the Father. Remember, the Father was in him talking. That's the Father in him talking. That's the Father in him talking. Didn't he always say, "My Father in me, He doeth the works." My Father in me. That's the Father in him talking. He said, my Father in me, these are his words. Right? My Father. And remember that Isaiah 9, 6 to 8. So he was speaking as the Father. Right? Saying, I will write upon him my new name. He was speaking as the Father right there. Right? And this don't make sense to us until we grow in the Spirit. We confuse until we grow. You know, that's why the Bible said, No man know the Father save the Son, no man know the Son save the Father, and to whom he will reveal him. Because that's the that's a, a reward. This is a gift to know the Lord. It's a gift. Luke 10 22. Everybody can't get this. You know, this is for uh the faithful. All things are delivered unto me of my father. See, and no man knoweth 
who the Son is, but the Father, and who the Father is, but the Son, and to he to whom the Son will reveal him. This come through Revelation. This come by showing yourself faithful. This come by what he say? Overcometh. To him that overcometh. Right? All right. And we read he cast both. So the time came. What he say? My soul. Oh, let's get one more of those. He said, my soul will have no. My soul going to leave y'all. My soul going to leave y'all. Let's get that in here. Let's get another one of those. Hebrews. See, that, that was uh, Jeremiah 6, 8, right? He said, my soul going to be going to leave this city and we're going to leave y'all desolate. Right? That's what he said. Now, that's the new covenant. Hebrews 10. Right, watch it. Hebrews 10, 38. Now the just, or those who are justified, shall live by faith. What? But if any man draw back, check this out. My soul shall have no pleasure in him. The soul is the bridegroom, which is himself, which is Jesus Christ. The bridegroom who come to clothe us with righteousness. Now the just, if you're going to be just, right? This is a spiritual walk. Let me show you that. Yeah, let's finish this first. Let's finish this first. Now the just shall live by faith. Did you highlight that word just? Shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Okay. Just, right? The just. Keep that in mind. Let's go to uh, 1 Timothy 3, 16. Let me fix these seasons up real nice for y'all. 1 Timothy 3.16 says, watch this, and without controversy, great is the mystery, put some color on it, put some color on it, of godliness, God was manifest in the flesh, ain't this your Isaiah 9.6-8, right, Isaiah 9.6-8, Luke 2.11, God went being born in Zion, the city of David, God was manifest in the flesh, justified, look, the just shall live by faith in the spirit. So this is a spiritual walk. The only way you're going to be justified is in the spirit. The only way you're going to see God and know God and understand God is through the spirit of the Holy Ghost. It says justified in spirit, not of the flesh, y'all. Seen of angels, preached un unto the Gentiles, believed on into the world, received up into glory. Now remember, the old covenant is the flesh. John, let's go to John 3, 6. What you Hebrew Israelites going to do with this? What y'all going to do with this? That which is born of flesh is flesh. That's what we was in, with the fringes. Under the first covenant, this is us. And that which is born of spirit is spirit. This is the new covenant. This is the new covenant. Right there. That's Jesus Christ. That's God manifested in the flesh. We we reading it. First Corinthians six. Are we not bearing them, y'all? Are we not bearing them with this video? Oh, it's so much more. But the clock gonna run out before we get to it all. Uh, 1 Corinthians 6, 17. He that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Where's they spiritual birth? You can't have both. Oh yeah, let's get that. Acts. Can't have both. Now, when I said that, it reminded me of Acts. Acts 13. And, uh... Acts 13, let's go there, 23. Of this man's seed, which is the Holy Ghost, right? Had God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a Savior, Jesus. Is that, this is the Spirit Jesus, though. Yeah, they, what they say, uh, 
mighty great lion, uh, uh, that Yahawashai was born of the flesh. So even that Yahawashai don't line up with scripture. So anybody believing in that junk, I guess they, the, the Bible say they love, all that hate me love death. God said all that hate me love death. They just love death. If they follow that. Because it don't even line up with scripture. Yahawashai don't line up with scripture. The mighty great land always bring that out. They got two names and stuff. And he born of the flesh. He born of fornication. They don't know what a virgin is. None of that. So they not in the scriptures. Let's finish this. Of this man's seed, the Holy Ghost, had God according to the promise, his promise raised unto Israel a Savior, Jesus. This is the promise of salvation, consolation. We saw that in Luke 2. They were waiting on the promise. Consolation. Simeon said, oh, my eyes have seen our salvation. Let me depart in peace according to your word. This child is set for the, the fall and the rising again of many in Israel. Jesus Christ. This is the spirit. This is the new covenant that I will write upon your heart. Put my laws in your heart and in your mind. That we would not depart from him. Put my fear in you. This is my strength. This is a resurrection power. Y'all know that? Uh, John. <clears throat> 11. And uh, 25. John 11, 25. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection. Here it is. And the life. He that believe in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? That's the power. We That gets us out of the flesh. Gets us out of the world. This is he that overcometh. Huh? That's the righteousness. The glory. The Savior. The fullness of God. Jesus is the fullness. He makes us complete. The Bible said we are complete in Him. The head of all principality and power. Let's get that. Colossians 2. And now. Nah. For in Him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And ye are complete in Him, which is the head, the Godhead, of all principality and power. In whom also ye are circumcised. This is the circumcision. With the circumcision made without hands. This is greater than fringes. This is better than, than fringes. This is the Holy Ghost. God with us. Manifested in the flesh. Justified in the spirit. You got to be justified in spirit. The just shall live by his faith. Circumcision made without hands. This is a new covenant. The old covenant was the hands. Your fringes and all of that. The hands. The temple of Solomon. All of that, you name it. The tabernacle of Moses, the fringes, all that was of the hands. It was of the flesh. It was carnal. We couldn't see without the light. That was just practice. Now the perfection is here. His name is Jesus Christ. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. The government is on his show. This is a spiritual kingdom now. In whom also we are circumcised. Look at what we reading. We coming out of the flesh. Into the spirit right here. In whom also you are circumcised. With the circumcision made without hands. Putting off the body. Of the sins of the. Look. The flesh. By the circumcision. Of Christ. Jesus Christ. Who's the king? Jesus Christ. Who's the king? Jesus Christ. Who's the king? Jesus Christ. That's how you say it. Buried with him by baptism. You got to be water baptized. 
<laughs> with him in baptism, wherein also you are risen with him, death, burial, resurrection. I am the resurrection and the life. Ah, Y'all gonna get ate up. You stand before any true believers now who paying attention to these videos, King Supermans and the Mighty Great Lions, they gonna get ate up, ain't I right, saints? They gonna get ate up. No man can stand before us with this book, with these truths. You can't get back to God in the flesh. Now you gotta take hold of the new covenant with your spirit. Oh, keep on, keep it going. King Superman, let's keep this going. Buried with him by baptism, wherein also you are risen with him through the faith. There's that faith. Of the operation of God who had raised him from the dead. That's our justification right there. That's our justification. Tell us that in Romans 4. Oh, we're going to get here. And you being dead in your sins and uncircumcision of your flesh. Had he quickened together with him, having forgiven all trust. That's why we sit in heavenly places. That's why the kingdom's coming down. Because we in heavenly places. And when it's time for us to take over the earth, we coming down. That's when you see the kingdom of uh, 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 Jerusalem coming down from heaven. Our spirit is in his hand. In our hand, we commit our spirit. Blighting out the hand, writing of ordinances which was against us, which was contrary to us, he took it out of the way and nailing it to his cross. The Mosaic law. I'm gonna prove that in just a second again. I proved it right there, but we're gonna prove it again. And having spoiled all principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in by the cross. By the cross. That's your Acts 13. Let's get back over there. Acts 13, I know we didn't finish, we was over there, but we didn't finish it. Acts 13, 39, 39, yes sir, let's do read this the right way, Acts 13, 39, and by him, Jesus Christ, all that believe are, look, justified from all things which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. Checkmate. Checkmate. That's really a video. That's really a video. Huh? But it's, yeah, we, we can play with it. Let's play with it some more. Ah. So many places to go, man. Let's do this. Do we want Job? Let's see if we want Job 25. Let's go to Job, man. That's a video right there. It really is. Y'all know that. Uh, that's really a video. Yeah, Job 25 fold. Look at this. How then can a man be justified with God? Or how can he be clean that is born of a woman? Huh? That's a good question. Y'all want to see it again? How then can a man be justified with God? Or how can he be clean that is born of a woman? Huh? Can y'all answer that? Well, let's get some more on that. Let's go to uh, uh, Psalm 143 2. Psalm. Let's play with this a little bit. 143. Let's play with this. And 2. Here's what it's telling us. And enter not into the judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. That's in the flesh. That's after the flesh. No man after the flesh can be justified. That's your uh uh Romans eight eight. Romans 
Let's, hey, let's get that. Romans 8. Hey, this your new covenant. That's your new covenant. So then they that are in the flesh, first covenant, we can say that now. The first covenant is flesh, is after the flesh. They that are in the flesh cannot please God, first covenant. But ye are not in the flesh, new covenant. But in the spirit, justified. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, new covenant, he is none of his. Y'all having fun? I know I am. <clears throat> I know I'm having fun. <laughs> Let's try Luke 7, 28. I know I'm having fun. Luke 7. If you ain't having fun with this video, something wrong with you. Something wrong with you. Y'all need to leave y'all phone on the board and let me call you. Leave your phone on the comment board let me call you. If you ain't having fun with this video, then you need some uh, personal attention. Luke 7, 28. Let's try this. For I say unto you, among those that are born of women, there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist, but he that is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. Yeah, and John the Baptist had the Holy Ghost. And all the people that heard him and the, the publicans uh, the publicans justified God. Here's how you justify God. Uh, Mighty Great Land always used this one. Justify God being baptized with the baptism of John. See, John believed. I mean, John believed. And those who were baptized, that believe in the truth of the gospel, you get baptized. But the Pharisees and the lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves not being baptized of him. So they don't get justified. And the Lord said, Whereunto then shall I liken the men of this generation? And to what are they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling one another and saying, We have piped and you have not danced. We have mourned, but you have not wept. For John the Baptist came neither eating nor drinking wine. And you say, He had a devil. The Son of Man has come eating and drinking, and you say, Behold, a gluttonous man and a wine bearer, a friend of publicans and sinners. Check this out. But wisdom is justified of all her children. We have the wisdom of God. That's we justified with the wisdom. This is a spiritual walk. Our wisdom justifies us. Because we believe God. We believe God's word. Check this out. We believe God. That's what John the Baptist was telling. That's what John was telling. Let's go to John 3. Watch this. Uh, uh, before I go there, let's do uh, Jeremiah first. Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 7. Let's go to Jeremiah 7. Jeremiah 7, 34, that last verse. God said, my soul... His soul left earthly Jerusalem. When he exiled us, Jesus told us too from his own mouth. M Matthew 23, we read that. I'm going to leave this house desolate till you say, Blessed he that comes in the name of the Lord. That was God's soul. Jesus Christ. We done proved that with this video. Uh, Jeremiah 7, 34. Then will I cause to cease from the cities of Judah and from the streets of Jerusalem the voice of mirth, the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom. See, that's who Jesus is, the voice of the bridegroom. The voice of the bridegroom, that's God's soul. And the voice of the bride, right? He cut all of us off. The bride was separated because the remnant had to, uh, he came for that remnant. He came for the bride. He came back. We're going to get there. Watch this. For the land shall be desolate. And we were cast out of his sight. Earthly. You know, that's old covenant. 
We just read the old covenant right there. Him stopping. There's no more law. That's your Lamentations 2 9, all that. No more law, all that. Yeah, let me get that real quick. I think we got time. Lamentations 2 9. Because that's after the flesh. That's after the flesh. And her gates are sunk into the ground. And he had destroyed and broken her bars. Her king and her princes are among the Gentiles. We got scattered. The law is no more. Her prophets also find no vision from the Lord. Not under the old. Not under the old. The law is no more. He uprooted us. Do I need to get that? He uprooted us from the law. Right? Of the flesh. The old covenant. We had infirmities. Deuteronomy. Hope y'all paying attention. Deuteronomy. Well, which one we want? Let's go 29. Here's another proof. This is just going to be another proof. 28. Watch this. And put some color on it for you. And the Lord rooted them. Look, rooted. Y'all know what pulling something up from the root is. 